Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Andy from AT Car Sales in Corby, North Hampshire. Today we're looking at this 2016 on a 66 Rage Ford Edge. This one is the 2 litre TDCI, the titanium trim with loads of optional upgrades from new, which we'll go through in a minute. Has got the automatic power shift gearbox, it is the all wheel drive with 0 06 for the stop start. So fantastic for you folks in the London Birmingham ULS zones, being a ULS compliant vehicle. Three registered owners from new, and it's covered around about 91,000 miles. Superb service history with this one. Has had the automatic gearbox service it's had a recent cam belt change there as well we sold this vehicle a couple of years ago to its former keeper and we were offered it back um, a couple of years later when they've now purchased their new vehicle their newer vehicle so uh yes what a fantastic motor coming around the vehicle then as we can see it does have that big front grille there front and side parking sensors so 360 degree sensors has got the active park assist for that those 20 inch alloy wheels in fact let's get a bit closer and have a look at those alloys absolutely incredible look okay, at gray face or a silver face with the gray inserts there having a look and it does have the color coded door handles wing mirror caps privacy glass there to the rear very nice for your rear occupants round to the rear we go we can see it does have the shark fin antenna we also have the uh, the big spoiler there to the rear the rear of the vehicle, you do have the rear parking camera. Again, 360 degree parking sensor, so parking is an absolute doddle. Have the twin exit tailpipes down the bottom there as well. 210 brake horsepower, capable of doing in excess of 52 miles to the gallon. Just 149 grams per kilometre CO2 emissions, so not too bad at all for a big four before. Yes, huge, huge spec with this vehicle. Superb car to drive, really is. Let's get a look inside it, shall we? So keyless entry with this vehicle. Upon opening, as we can see there, you do have the piano black interior there, the interior trim. You also have the uh, front and rear electric windows with the electronically operated foldable wing mirrors. Just press a button like so and they do fold. And, uh, and you have this big lever uh, with the white stitch in there as well armrest very nice as we can see there you do have these buttons which relate to the driver's seat which is a memory memory seats as you can see you do have the edge specific kick plate fitted floor mats throughout on this vehicle and as we mentioned it does have the electric front seat so both drivers and passenger seats are electric with the driver's one being uh, memory as we can see it does have the full black leather interior very nice perforated leather there in the sensor minimal wear and a big armrest big sensor console that separates the driver and the passenger and inside that armrest you have a nice little shelf there with a massive storage space just inside here and a 12 volt connection twin cup holder just over there very nice deep cup holder as we can see two remote keys there are present and both work an electronically operated handbrake on this side you do have the active park assist so press of a button and it does uh, give you some information on the screen which we'll have a look at in a minute and uh, auto stop start and, uh, and your parking sensor button there of course there's your power shift gearbox and uh, yeah drive superb like I mentioned has had the all important service with this one if we hit that button just there uh, we will gain access in here you know nice big storage space you do have an SD card input a line in and a twin USB connection as well Going on over here, you do have your climate control, which is uh, heated front seats and air conditioning, the uh, the cooling seats there as well. Very nice again. And uh, and it is the, the upgraded Sony infotainment system. As we can see there, it does have the air conditioning that does blow out cold, the uh, heated front screen there as well. And if we uh, eventually come up to this big screen, really, really nice and easy to navigate, but huge, huge spec inside there. So let's start mobile phone connection, of course. If we go over to your... Uh, infotainment you do have am fm digital radio cd player usb input uh, bluetooth audio streaming sd card and line in we at the right side top right hand corner as we can see there it does have the satellite navigation and then if we press this button just over here as we can see over there massive massive spec you do have the heated seats as i've mentioned before and also the heated steering wheel there as well press the home button and it shows absolutely everything and again you do have the settings in there and inside the settings there are some other features that hidden away ambient lighting for instance and many other features push button start just down there and as we can see you do have a, a big storage space just down here as well for you 
Having a look then at the multifunction steering wheel, bearing in mind the vehicle's covered right about 91,000 miles. There's absolutely minimal wear, just a little bit to be expected on the right-hand side. And, uh, and as we can see, you do have the voice control with the audio remote and cruise control on this side. It does have the paddle shifters there as well, so you can change the gears manually if you so wish to. And as we can see, you do have the lane keeping aid, uh, lane keeping aid just on this side. Having a look then at the dash, as we can see, it is a digital dash uh, with exact mileage of 90,528 to be exact. Uh, loads and loads of features hidden away in there. If we just go into your driver's assist, it does have the traction control, driver's alert, intelligent four-wheel drive, lane keeping aid, um, traffic sign recognition, tire monitor, and, uh, and a few other features hidden away in there. Uh, I did forget to mention um, when we press the active park assist we press that button over there it would do, do the uh, the parallel park press it once more it do the perpendicular park for you as well uh, parking is an absolute doddle i can show you how that works um on a test drive if you so wish to having a look up there you have a nice big speaker you also have this storage compartment up here and, uh, and there's your driver alert sensor just over there so that does light up red for you have a look just down here as we can see you do have the uh, the auto headlights with the um with the uh, fog light button just over there, a little bit of a storage compartment just over there. That's really nice and cool. And uh, your boot release button. Having a look then up into the roof of the vehicle. Um, nice features up here. You do have the auto dimming rear view, uh, rear light. Uh, sorry, the auto dimming uh, rear view mirror, and uh, and a few buttons up there that relates to the uh, the sunroof, which we'll have a look at in a second. And of course, then you have the sunglass holder, vanity mirror just over there with the lights either side. And uh, there we go, folks this massive upgrade of course with the opening sunroof so opening sunroof full panoramic roof and uh, we press the button so there we go just press of a button over there and it will close and then we do have a separate button there for the sun blind so we can uh, have it as far forward or as far back as we so wish to fully working of course uh, very nice feature I think Honestly, let's get a look in the back. So into the rear of the vehicle we go. And as we can see again, you do have the piano black uh, just over there. Floor mats in the back. Seat back pockets again with a perforated leather. And uh, fantastic there for your rear occupants. I'm sat in the back here. Very, very nice and comfortable. Two fans down there. Heated rear seats for you as well. 12 volt connection on this side. And a 230 volt house socket just down there for you as well. We're looking at the rear seats again, perforated leather to the uh, the two outer seats. Three headrests there are present. Armrest in the centre with the two cup holders and also uh, eyes affixed to the two outer seats. Finally then, into the rear we go. Press of a button, automatically operated. Electronically operated, sorry. Tailgate. Nice, huge, huge space in there. Again, the load cover is present for you as well. Big, big space there. Lift up the floor mat. You do have a space saver spare wheel. You also have the big speaker there in the boot. Um, 12 volt connection just over that side. But yeah, massive spec for you. Loads of options on there that I didn't even speak about. We're now eight and a half minutes into this video. It's huge spec. There you have it, folks. The 2016 on a 66 Reg Ford Edge. The 2 litre TDCI titanium trim with loads of optional upgrades. Power shift automatic gearbox, four wheel drive, Euro 6 ULES compliant vehicle. Available with us here in Corbin, North Hampshire, AT car sales. Give us a call on 01536263876. That's 01536263876. It with myself, Andy. Already there in the office, so I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you. Goodbye for now.